Hey guys, Rap Performance again. We're here back working on the Z28 Camaro. Um, in the first video, you saw how we decluttered a lot of the emissions. A lot of it wasn't working anyway, so we're not really um, causing a bigger issue. We're actually going to make the car run a lot cleaner than it was running. Um, a lot of the parts of rebuy, the air pump and the air injection assembly and all the vacuum porting, it would just cost an astronomical amount and it would just be easier to convert it to simple a non-electric quadrajet like what I was telling you in the first video we're going to end up upgrading the carburetor to another Rochester and this is an electronic HEI um, we're going to take it out in favor of a mechanical advanced HEI so the, the big things here if you are looking into doing a late 80s 90s car and you want to backtrack to a simple late 70s, early 80s HEI. You can go to the junkyard absolutely and grab an HEI. Uh, a lot of the stuff online, Amazon, Summit Kegs, you could probably get it for 50 or 60 bucks brand new. Uh, even if you look for a Rock Auto or something like that, a factory replacement. Actually, I think uh, Amazon and Summit and Jegs are actually cheaper now um, for you to get it just brand new, which I'll show you uh, what we have. But in any event, the, ba the basic thing for this electronic is the advance is controlled by computer electronically. So you would take that out in favor of the mechanical. So you have a bunch of wires here. The wiring in the back is really just for the pickup coil module for the coil in here. That goes with the new distributor. You don't worry about that. There are two front terminals. And if you read on the cap, it'll say TAC and BAT. So the battery is your key on hot. If you can see it, it's red. That wire will come out. You'll reuse it on the same HEI that I'm going to show you. It's the same wiring. It goes to battery, key on. The other one you may not have. This car has it. It has a tachometer. And it's just the TAC feed. So this is an in-dash TAC. And it has the little tack feed, and that's how it looks. It's just a terminal connector right there. And then this is the key on hot. This clip is broken already. And it's a thick red or pink wire. Normally on the cars, it was like a reddish pink color. Uh, this gives you power to the HEI. So the beauty of it is it's single wire hookup. You get power to the HEI. It's self-contained. Turn the key, the car starts and runs. You don't need any external box. You don't need anything else. You could upgrade these to a lot of the aftermarket Pentronics and even MSD sell full guts for it. So you can really get a powerhouse out of your stock HEI unit. So let me just show you uh, the new unit that we're going to be using. So this is one of them from online. It was like 50 bucks, brand new. Um, Saves you a lot of stress, so I'll just show you. This would be a mechanical advance. All you need is that single wire. I was ready in here. So it has the module set up. The big difference on these is just a two wire module. When you get into the electronics only, it's a three or four wire module. Uh, the big thing is right here on the advance. You have your weights, you have your springs, all the pickup, you have a vacuum advance. These don't have vacuum advance. That's the way you can spot them right out. There's no vacuum advance. It's electronic. If it's a mechanical, it's a, if it's a vacuum advance, it's a mechanical HEI di distributor setup. You have the mechanical advance here. And additionally, you can put vacuum advance, and that gives you all the advance. Swapping this out will give you a ton more of street performance. Uh, if you've ever driven it, and you could tune these to make the advance come in sooner, it just makes any car just feel like a different vehicle. So once you tune them, and I'm going to show you on the bench how we're going to tune these uh, with these springs. It already has a weight kit, but I think that these springs here are a little bit stiff. We can make it looser to have the advance come in sooner as long as we don't have detonation. So, so that's basically it. So we're going to be tearing this out in favor of this nice new distributor. And like I mentioned, this harness comes with your HEI. It just goes in the back of that cap assembly. It feeds the coil. It senses signal from all of these, from the pickup coil to the module. Um, and that's how it works, just single wire. Uh, so um, 
tune in again for the next video series where we're going to be putting it in and like I said, upgrading the carburetor. So have a great day, guys.